This is an overview of the steps process, which is key to preparing accounts using the VT Charity templates. We would not recommend approaching the preparation of accounts using these templates in any way other than going through the logical step process. When you load up the home screen, you will see there that there is links to various parts of the templates. There are links to the help programs, which are in the support files. Throughout the steps process, you will find that there are links to help. And in particular, if you are working through the notes, or the detail PLL2 or the detail PL1, you will find that there is a great deal of help relating to particular notes, for example, investment gains there. We would not suggest that you would attempt to prepare any element of the accounts without first having looked at the associated help files. In all the areas of the accounts, you will find there are help files, staff costs and emoluments. What do we need to know about staff costs and emoluments? Click on that. It will load up the file and it will tell you what is there. How do I edit this note? What's the guidance? And so on. Then we can go back to the accounts. So this, there's a great deal of help that should be looked at throughout the steps process. The steps are logical. Go through them in numerical order. Some of them you can revisit and you will be able to change the information you've entered. Some of them it's unlikely you will want to come back and change them. There is a separate video for each step of the process explaining how you deal with that particular step. In this overall view you will see that if you click on step one it takes you to step one which is setting the properties of the VT workbook. If we go back to the home page working through step two this tells you what all these steps are about. It tells you whether you can proceed or not. In this case there's invalid input in step two that's because you haven't entered the data. It requires you to establish a legal status for a charity and one hasn't been entered in this step. So you work through all the steps in numerical order following the instructions in each step, listening to the links given in the videos in support of each particular step, watch the comments. As you are a small charity, you've chosen to use activity analysis, you must use the following two steps. As you work through the steps process, you will be given guidance and help in how to deal with a particular step. And we would suggest that you use this as a control panel for managing your work going through the steps process. If you want further information, look at the individual help that's in the help file for each step. That will tell you how to approach step one. Go back to the accounts. Want help on step six? Tells you how to deal with it. And similarly, there is an associated video for each step. With the help files and the video between them, you should get guidance on how to approach the step. That is the end of this.